Hey guys, Panda back with you. Uh, yeah, still working on my uh, summoner build. Uh, yeah, I use a turret with this build. That way I use a turret to, uh, you know, as a raid spender, basically. Uh, I do rely on three live remortises. I have those specced into the mage category. I'll show you uh, the tree for them really quick. Now, pretty much on the tree here, on your Gate of Fates, I'd say probably about 60 points starting out give or take, will get you into what you need to focus on. Honestly, I would focus on, you know, these, your immediate center wheel first, and then focus on these down here because this really is very important at first when you start out. Obviously, you know, when I'm coming through, I'm not looking for critical at all, but I'm looking for, uh, you know, cost reduction, some extra health as we come through, uh, and resistance scores, very important here. Uh, we come, uh, obviously, out of the soldier tree. You're coming into the uh, Praetorian tree. Uh, you want to follow through. I'll come over to this note here. Health gloves, very important. Uh, buff and resistance as well as healing you. And you get more healing from the health globes and health globe generation. And, you know, you don't have to worry about that note there. I come up to this one here. Blocking an enemy's attacks. Uh, inflicts them with weakness. Sacred Oath. You know, that's another important one to come up. Uh, I come up this way here primarily. More resistance. I want to get over here uh, so I can come into your Plaguebringer tree, which is, you know, right now really the only tree that's going to, you know, halfway work. You know, some of these nodes, it's questionable if these are actually reflecting on your summons, but it does make a difference. Uh, one important thing I want to note here, okay, on the... Uh, this tree here really quick come here to the block any weapon six percent add a block chance come over here more block efficiency that's important you'll see this play out but anyways down on the uh plague bringer tree you know these nodes here uh health regeneration summons health summons damage you know they may or may not actually be reflecting yet i mean you know once they do get that corrected it's going to make it probably a lot more powerful you know of course i'm sure they'll probably nerf it like they do everything else but one important point here to keep your summons alive is take this main node here, Sacrifice of Flesh. Yes, you are going to lose, sacrifice some of your health, but all your summons are going to take less damage. And if you take these nodes here, they take even less damage, okay? This like totals up to, what is it, I think like 80, 85% damage reduction for your summons. And let me tell you what, they stay alive. I mean, yeah, once in a while you get against something really hard, you're going to have an issue with that. But coming from this tree over here, but coming to your uh, Siege Breaker tree, the reason I come into this tree, block chance and block efficiency primarily. We come over to these bigger nodes. Uh, this one here, Salvatore Anchor, gives you added benefits, double your benefits based on the type of armor that you're wearing. So like in my case, I want heavy armor in the particular uh, slots because it's going to double my resistance scores, okay? That's why I do that. Uh, it adds extra health regeneration. Of course, you get some more block efficiency. Passive uh, dodge chance score. Resistance scores are very big too. Uh, this one here, yeah. Okay, yeah, basically for every uh, As you stay, okay, stationary, yeah, that one's going to benefit you there. But that's kind of what this one's about here. Uh, obviously, and then over here on the uh, Scholar Tree, I'm coming up. Element Chance. Cool down. But I came up here because I want to get the max willpower and rage. This one here is very important. 15, plus 15 radius for picking up health globes. That means you're moving around, you're killing stuff. The health globes, when they spawn, are coming right to you. They're like zapping, teleporting right to you. Very important. I mean, it's it's crazy how, how effective it is. Uh, Sentinel Tree, more health. I'm following this up here primarily just for more health. Coming up here so I can uh, get up into uh, our Kabbalist Tree. And this is probably the first one you want to come into. Then you can spread out from this tree here over to your others. But yeah, Kabbalist. You're getting more elements. Elements are really important in this build. And make sure you take the Primordial Insights. Uh, element stacks will give you critical damage, you know, that actually 
is working now, and you get additional elements, then you can kind of play around with your other points as you go beyond this point, but probably 60 points or so will get you started, but focus uh, down this direction first. And of course, you know, you'll have to turn your wheels to uh, a line up as I have mine set here, okay? I'm uh, pressing level 70 right now, so this has been really effective so far. But I just want to kind of show you, oh, okay, another thing here too, uh, Live Remortis. This is how I have the uh, skill modifier set. I'm giving them extra damage. This one here, uh, I put this on, makes him become a mage. Right now, my summon's health is 170,000. And this is very important on all of them. Use your modifier generational grief. This takes part of your damage and puts it over, transfers that to your uh, summons. That is another big thing that keeps you alive in this build. And of course, more damage and attack speed for the summons too. You know, that's that's a big benefit. Of course, I have my uh, turret down here. Uses a rage spender. You want to get these as high level as you can. Uh, here I've been, uh, Solar Fall, I've been uh, leveling this one up. But I have Solar Fall pretty much equipped to... Uh, where I can move it around and it's uh, helping out with element damage. You see, it's really important because Solar Fall does all this different type of damage. And you have these percentages here. So, but yeah, you got Fire, Frost, Sacred, Shadow damage coming down on uh, your Solar Fall. And then over here, Anomaly, you can see Anomaly is giving me Ether damage and Frost damage. You know, so I'm getting like two different uh, sets there going on for element damage and whatnot. But here, I just kind of want to show you really quick how effective this is. Uh, yeah, I'm only like in a level 85 expeditions right now. You know, I'm, I'm moving up, testing this whole thing out. But, you know, it's working for me. Uh, you know, I don't have anything to even talk about gear related yet. You know, I'm working slowly to build the gear up. I haven't done anything with the gear. I haven't used any of the orbs to, you know, reroll the stats. You know, I've been just kind of picking and choosing what comes, but, you know, for the, uh, that one passive no that we put, you remember that one that gives you benefits for the type of armor you equip. You know, I want to go heavy armor kind of in these areas here. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do, but I would highly suggest heavy armor for your head and for your chest. You know, uh, the outer ones here, I don't know. I, I've got a mix of stuff going on here. Bruiser, you know, will give me health. But, you know, kind of thought about going a, like a rogue setup possibly. Kind of just play with it and see how that works. But that's kind of where I sit right now. So I'm not worried about gear yet until I get to the point. But anyways, I'm on this uh, boss fight here. This one, I want to show you how effective this actually works. And I don't know why I move like a snail. It's really weird. Sometimes... I move pretty quick, sometimes I don't. Alright, so there's Solar Fall. See how fast they, they take that boss down? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know... That is just so slow. But yeah, that's uh, kind of where it stands. You know, it's... You know, it's an okay build so far. You know, now if they nerf something, uh, you know, yeah, you're probably going to have more problems there if they do that, but... I don't know why I even took the Companion Shrine there. No reason for it at all. Yeah, this movement thing, this is... Oh, I hate that. It's like I run in slow motion. I have no idea. Yeah, but get your skills leveled up. You know, figure out what you want and get your skills leveled up. You know, you're going to have an easier time if they're leveled up. This is your microwave from the sky right here. I just love that ability. But, you know, I'm going to experiment and uh, find different things that work. But yeah, I'll tell you what, I have not actually had my minions really die out on me yet. They, they actually do really well. I mean, you can just stand there pretty much AFK if you want and, you know, just... And with that one passive node, you know, collecting the health globes, yeah, it's it's crazy.
Yeah, see that? These guys are usually a pain in the ass. Yeah, he just melted away. Check that out. Look at that. Yeah, but hey, it's kind of what I'm working on right now. So I'm going to keep going forward and I'll do other videos as I get higher level expeditions to show you guys just how effective this build is. Okay? Peace out.